I'm going to show you how to make birch trees with watercolor. What you're going to do is set up your watercolor paper on a board. You tape it around the outside so it won't stretch. And then I'm taking more masking tape to form the trees. This is going to block out the area so the trees will be white and we'll do the background after we've set up all the trees. So the first one is just a piece of tape that I've squished in to be a little more narrow, have a little more shape. And for the second one, I'm tearing the masking tape down the middle, the height of the paper, and then I'm going to take it off and put the rough side to the outside of the tree. So to smooth it down and then take the other half and remove it from the roll and put the rough side to the other side of the tree. So it's slightly rough on both sides. And once you've placed it down there, you can make it any width you like. And from there, I'm going to do some other trees by cutting the masking tape a little bit thinner and you can shape the edge a little bit so it's a little more organic looking so just cut it free form like that and then place it on the paper if you have trouble cutting it with the sticky side just put it on a piece of wax paper and then cut it out it's going to be a little bit easier so smooth down the tape so we have three different styles of making the trees with the tape and now we're using drawing gum. Uh, this is also, also called masking fluid. We're just going to draw the lines of the trees with the masking fluid. This will also block the paint from going on the paper when we do the background. So just do the lines as you wish. You will have to let them dry for a little while before you can paint on top so when they're no longer sticky to the touch you can you'll be able to paint over it and do varying widths of the trees to make it more interesting and wash your brush right away or the drawing gum will stick in the brush so now we're going to prepare our colors for the background I like to wet the palette first you can also spray the palette with water to soften up the colors a little bit. I'm going to go with some earthy tones in the background, so various shades of green. And I'm going to also use yellow, so I'm just going very quickly placing down my colors. They're blending together. The background is dry, so we're doing wet on dry. And we're just plopping down those colors in an abstract manner to make the background. And I'm putting some dabs of other colors like browns and reds to give it a little bit of variety. And you can do any color palette you like for this. There's no real rules. I just decided to go a little bit earthy with this one. And so we're gonna just keep putting down color and working quite quickly because after we can add some salt or alcohol depending on the effect that you want. So I'm just going to continue until I'm happy with it, working all around, make sure there's no little white bits of the paper showing, and now I'm sprinkling on some salt and that will give it some texture. So just continue like that. Once it's dry, you will have to let it dry for a while. We're going to peel off the tape. Always peel the, the tape towards the middle so we don't tear the paper. Just go very slowly pulling the tape off on both sides and lifting it off. Same with this. Very carefully. We do not want to rip the paper. And then the for the masking fluid, it's dry now. So you just want to rub it with your finger to remove it. Just gently rubbing it off and that will remove all the fluid, which is now dry. So for the birch trees, we are going to go in with the paints gray or a gray color, whatever, whatever color you wish. And I'm just going with a shadowy, watery gray to one side just to give it a little bit of dimension. 
you could vary the pressure you put on your brush to have some thinner areas and wider areas. You could even go a little darker than this if you like. I'm just making this one quite light and delicate, doing the shadows along the side. And then once those shadows are all done and dry, you can go in with a thinner brush and form the little knots in the tree. You can make these very simple. You can make them a little more detailed with lots of lines. And then with the same gray, I'm just pulling out branches on the sides of the trees to make it look more interesting. So you can go with a little bit of a darker gray and a fine brush. So we can just pull those ones out. You could even go with a Sharpie or a watercolor marker with a pointed tip if you want to do these fine details. And there's no real rules for this. You can space them more apart. You can put the lines closer together. You could do short lines, long lines. I'm curving them out a little bit to give them the illusion of three dimension that they're wrapping around the tree. You can look at photos of birch trees for reference and uh, just use your imagination. The dark lines on the white tree definitely give the impression that these are birch trees. If you get too much paint, you can dab it up a little bit. And then for the skinny trees, you can just do a bunch of little lines going down. Be careful not to smudge the paint that you've already done. It's actually better to work from left to right if you're right-handed. And now once it's dry, we are going to remove the tape. Always pull the tape away from the painting so you don't tear it. And there are beautiful birch trees.